started making the fish uh, only because I live on the lake in, in uh, Kentucky, and all the people around had the taxidermy fish on the wall, and I thought they were really ugly. And I had made, uh, uh, one of my clients in the past had been alcohol aluminum, so I'd made a lot of metal stuff for them, uh, you know, for their ads. And I said, I can make fish that are better than that. And so I started making them, and uh, here we are. The hardest part of all of this is, is uh, doing something that's a little unique. So I think it takes a person who's a little unique, and, and I don't mean, by unique, I don't mean to be strange. Uh, you know, there, there are a lot of people, and especially young artists today, who are just trying to do things off the wall just because they think it hasn't been done. It has been done, believe me. Uh, the difference is you gotta do it better. Uh, you gotta, you gotta be unique, you gotta be an individual, you gotta have a style, but you can't, you can't get out of school and say, I have a style, because that, that, the style doesn't happen like that. Style, or your signature, or whatever you wanna call it, uh, happens over a number of years, and, and uh, uh, it's created involuntarily. My whole career has been slightly bent toward the humorous, if you will. You know, uh, uh, until last year, I did a comic strip for 15 years. Everything has been, you know, kind of that way. Uh, I've, I've always enjoyed putting uh, warmth, if you will, into my illustrations when I did illustrations, into my uh, uh, comic strip, into and into my fish. And I think my fish have personalities. Uh, and there are certain ones I like better than others. But, you know, it just happens that way. And it will always happen that way. But, but getting back to, uh, you know, the kids starting out, it's, it's so tough. They're, they're competing with guys like me. And they say, oh, I've got to have a style. got to got to give to nail this down. And it's so difficult to do. It's so difficult to do. But you got to know where you're going. And you got to know what brought you there and how to get back, I guess. Well, fish are, are, are quite unique in that they're pretty much a very simple shape with anything that you could add on to them becomes personality. So I started by, by carving out a basic fish shape. I cover that with metal. Uh, and primarily it's all, it's all found metal, if you will. Uh, I use Coke cans, beer cans, you know, any, anything that I can find and, uh, and cover the fish with that and then use rusted metal and copper and brass and stainless steel, anything. And I and nail all, these I, onto the know, wood, home, nail this, this metal onto the wood. decorating and all that sort of I'll bet they would be fun to work on. And I use, I use the nails as a design element. Uh, much like line and paintings and whatnot. And I let the process that holds it together become a design element in the in the finished art. Uh, and I it it just pleases me the way it turns out. I was born just down the, the lake, about a uh, oh, mile and a half, two miles. Uh, so I wanted to come home, number one. Uh, hadn't lived in uh, Kentucky since I was 13 years old. Wanted to come home. And primarily, I wanted to uh, enjoy a better standard of living. Not standard of living, but a better, uh, just lifestyle, if you will. Being a commercial artist, uh, or being an artist of any kind is is a very uh, tenuous, if if uh, if nothing else, existence. Because you know, I don't have a job where I I never had a job where you know, 40 hours a week I get paid. You know, uh, other than you know when I was first starting out. 
uh, because after that, when I went freelance and whatnot, you know, it's always, uh, you get paid for what you do. See, I, I've been very lucky my whole life in that other than a couple of jobs I had, I enjoyed every one of them. Uh, and I learned something from every one of them. And, and every different phase of my life, so to speak, uh, I've enjoyed what I do. Now, I don't think a lot of people can say that. Uh, a lot of people, you know, yeah, I gotta go to work. Of course, I, for the last 30 years, I've worked at home. So it's not like getting up and, uh, and getting on a train or, or uh, driving, you know, 30 minutes to work. It's, uh, you know, but uh, even, even before that, when I used to drive to studios, when I, I enjoyed it and I've always enjoyed it. And if you're starting out in this business, you better enjoy it. Because if you don't, it's a tough, tough business. It's, it's a hell of a lot tougher than, than, uh, than cutting logs if, if you don't enjoy it. Oh, I get a, I, I get a lot of satisfaction out of uh, starting out with a piece of blank wood, doing all the things to it, you know, nailing the little things on, and ending up with something that I think looks pretty good. Uh, so so there's, a, there's a satisfaction that I get that I probably wouldn't get if I were selling an insurance policy. There is something that is substantial and stable after the process I go through.